Hi everyone, this is uh, our third video on uh, the physics principles um, applied in the construction of a tubulum. Okay, for this uh, particular video, the overarching concept is this idea about how the frequency um, of a particular note relates to the length of that air column, both in an open and a closed air column. Um, now we, we've dubbed this model one in that it is one of the models that we're going to look at in terms of analyzing how standing waves are made in um, both open and closed pipes. Okay, we're going to derive the equation for a closed pipe in this video. Okay. What we can see with the formation of a standing wave in a closed pipe is that we can see a high pressure region forming in, um, inside the pipe towards the close end and towards the open end we tend to have a, um, a low pressure region. So this can be represented as a transverse wave to illustrate the concept more clearer. So we can see there's a node that's formed at the close end and an antinode at the open end. Now this is quite interesting because um, we don't get the complete um, uh, a half wave that form. Instead here we get a quarter wave that's formed in the the air column um, and it looks a bit unintuitive to see how that happens but if you look at an actual um, wave here we've got our typical um, wave that presents um, a particular sound that's created you can see that half a wave would span this complete length an entire wave would span the entire um, wave, but here you can see it's only that a quarter wavelength that's actually formed in this closed pipe, and that affects the pitch of the of the standing wave that um, is creating. It usually gives it a more um, a more deeper a more deeper sound, categorized by that um, lower pitch uh, compared to to the open pipe. So here we've got it represented. Now you can see there's this a quarter wave that has formed. So what happens is this is the most the simplest form of wave that can be formed in this closed pipe, which is uh, one quarter wave uh, which occupies that entire length of the pipe all the way from the closed end right up to the open end. So it's, it's assumed that at the open end um, some, some interference occurs with the shock waves uh, resulting in the atmosphere uh, creating that boundary line at the seal of that, of that closed pipe and therefore that's where the, the antinode is to fall. Um, now this is represented more clearly here. You can see it's just a quarter um, or half an antinode that is present in this closed pipe. And um, the general expression for that is that there's this relationship that a quarter of the wavelength that is formed of a particular frequency in that pipe is equal to that length. And that, um, that simpler form, that simple form of a quarter wavelength is known as the first harmonic or the fundamental frequency. Now what happens is, unlike the example that we've studied in class, we have um, a string length which has integer multiples of um, frequencies, of harmonics that developed, with a closed pipe, because of the nature of the closed pipe, where you have one particular antinode, um, sorry, one particular node at one end, you must create one entire um, antinode before you can move on to your next 
half an antinode that's formed. So because that's the condition applied in closed pipes, you can see that you're never going to have an even number um, and therefore everything, it all increase, increases in odd numbers in terms of freak, um, frequent, uh, sorry, in terms of harmonics. So you'll never have a second harmonic, you'll never have a fourth harmonic or a sixth harmonic. Instead, you're always increasing in the odd numbers. So you got your first harmonic, go to your third harmonic, and then you go to your fifth, your seventh, your ninth, eleventh harmonic. You'll never get some even number in between. Now the reason for that is because of the nature of these wavelengths that are formed and how they're formed, which is you need to have that node at the closed end and ultimately you need to have an uh, antinode in the open end. Um, now what happens here, all this relationship is defined quite differently. The pipe is defined in terms of quarter wavelengths or half antinodes. So you can see uh, the first harmonic, you only have one um, half an antinode or a quarter wavelength. And the third harmonic, you have one, two, three. You have three uh, quarter, length, quarter length waves or three um, half antinodes. And again, in the fifth harmonic, one, two, three, four, five. Five um, a quarter length quarter length width or five half antinodes. So that gives the number of harmonics that is found in that particular closed pipe um, at that particular speed that the wave is being um, pushed through the pipe in order to create those different frequencies. So we start seeing a pattern, right? We can see that this number four here, that becomes a constant dealing with the quarter wavelength present in that, um, that length of pipe and the integer at the top or the number at the top uh, that is um, every odd number starts to um, indicate that particular harmonic. So this is a pattern we have come across before and the general condition is written as, as so. So you have the variable n which represents the particular harmonic now in closed pipes that deals with only odd numbers. Again, one, three, five, seven, uh, nine, eleven. Now the number four becomes a constant, the wavelength generated and the particular length of the pipe. Now this variable is going to come in, uh, this particular relationship is going to come in handy because what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, derive what the 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 frequency of a closed pipe um, relationship uh, looks like. So let's do that now. Okay, so here are two ex expressions. So we got um, the relationship of a closed pipe um, wavelength to that of the length of the pipe. Um, and we have the equation for frequency given by the constant of the speed of sound, um, which it, we've, we've modeled to have it at 340 meters per second. Um, the frequency is what we're going to be solving for, and we're going to be substituting this wavelength value in there. So we rearrange this. We say that frequency is equal to the speed of sound um, over that particular wavelength that it has. And this expression here, uh, we'll call this expression 2, and this expression here, we're going to rearrange this and make um, wavelength the term. So we we'll rearrange that. So we get wavelength is equal to 4 times the length divided by um, the particular harmonic we'll call this equation 1. So what we'll do is, we'll get equation 1 and we'll substitute it into equation 2 for wavelength. So let's do that. So a new expression becomes frequency is going to be equal to the speed of sound divided by 4 times the length divided by the enthalmonic. Now we can simplify this, make it a bit more uh, better looking. So that is equivalent to writing this uh, velocity 
divided by 4L divided by N. And when you're dealing with fractions, you can flip them around. So this looks like this. V times N over 4L. Um, and therefore, frequency um, in a closed pipe is given by um, the particular harmonic, which is an odd number, multiplied by the speed of sound in, in the atmosphere, divided by four times the length of that particular pipe. 